Hey, welcome back to the shop today, everybody. I hope uh, everybody has an amazing 4th of July. Um, it's only Friday, so we got a couple more days to go. Um, but yeah, everybody be super safe on, on that awesome holiday and support the good old red, white, and blue. That's what, the, uh, that's what it's all about. So today we are gonna be working on our 2019 Duramax. Um, we are gonna be installing a wireless charger from Boost Auto Parts uh, goes in the console. So let's get over on the workbench, let's show it to you and let's show you how to get it done. All right, so we did get our package from Boost Auto Parts. I will say that the uh, shipping on this was pretty quick. Um, everything came uh, really fast, so that was really sweet. And, ah, cool, let me give you a cool little sticker. And when you open it up, that's what it looks like inside. So let's get into this and let's figure out what tools we need to put together. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you open the kit. You have four little screws, your wireless charging pad, you get a wiring harness. There's a little template here that says uh, there could potentially be four screws in here instead of just two, so we'll find out what ours has. And this does fit um, 2015, 25, and 3500s through 2019. All right, so here's some of the tools that you're gonna need. Um, you're gonna need a screwdriver for installing your last screws. You probably don't need a center punch, but I'm gonna be drilling a hole, so I'm gonna use it anyways. They do recommend a 3 8 inch bit for uh, the hole in the console that the connector goes through. I'm probably gonna drill a pilot hole. This is a 3 16 um, I always have a little hook tool anytime I'm removing trim panels or body panels. They normally work out pretty good. Um, if you you know have one of these kits, I'll probably use something like this to uh, some uh, plastic uh, body clips, etc., and then I'm just going to be using a uh, little Milwaukee for the screwdriver and another little Milwaukee to drill it out. So that should be it. If I run into anything else I need, I'll be sure to let you know. Let's just take a minute to appreciate that sexy beast. Okay, so we're inside of the truck. Um, this is only applicable with the console models that have the fold up little jump seat. Um, that's what I have. So uh, first thing we're gonna do is um, we're gonna take this piece off and this is the part that they gave you the little disclaimer that said that you might have two extra screws in there. So there's a screw here. One. And screw number two. I'm just gonna probably throw those in this cup over here. Ooh, this might have the extra screws. Oh no, you just have to uh, give it a nice little snug pull and it might pop up, so. All right, this truck is a 2019, so yours is probably the same if you have a 19. Um, we do need to take these two screws out as well. Just standard Phillips. Should have your screws out. They do look like they're the same length, so I don't think you're gonna be able to mess them up. Um, let's work on getting this top piece off. Okay, so next we're gonna um, work on getting this lid off. Uh, there is a little rubber piece here. We'll have to take off, but this lid right here, the button, I want to keep the button down and you should just take your little uh, pry tool if you have one, go in here, you should be able to pop this plastic piece off. And then once that is free, you go all the way around with your hands there. have all of those off okay now you can let your button up once you're free and out of the way just pop all your clips off I believe this piece should yeah, just pop right out it's pretty pretty simple 
Okay, so now we're gonna remove our little rubber pad with our little trim tool. Should just pop right out. Three little tabs holding it in. And uh, now we're gonna drill our hole. Okay, so now we're gonna drill our hole. Um, the Boost Auto Parts cover that sits in here actually is on little pedestals, so it does sit up higher. Then it, this dish is not as deep. Um, so that's good because you need that clearance in order to hide this wiring. So I'm going to try to still keep it as low as I can. Um, not way up here. I'm going to kind of try to put it towards the lower portion. So I'll just kind of center punch this hole here. And uh, let's drill that out. You guys can see. And that's our pilot hole. And we'll swap to the 3 8 So was that, that was our 3 16 Now I have my 3 8 Okay, I'm all the way through. Okay, now that we got our holes drilled, there's four screws. I'm gonna take all those out. We should be able to remove this cover. All right, so now we're going to disconnect our um, pigtails here. And I was like a little hook tool um, there's kind of some buttons on there you can press down. If you press down, that one will disconnect. It's number one. This one has a button on the bottom. And the reason I'm using a little tool is because it's kind of hard to get your finger between this bar right here. For me, it is anyways. Number two, and then you have a button on the bottom of this one, right in the center in the front. You need to press in on as well. And that's number three, so all three of those are disconnected. Okay, now that we've got our three wires disconnected, we can pull our console out. We should be able to. From the back and slide it out like so. Oh, look. Hell yeah, 25, 30, 36 cents, not bad. All right, so now we're gonna um, route this through our hole that we drilled. Seems a little too damn tight. So let's make this a little bit bigger. We're gonna make it three eighths plus. that ought to do it so now that we made it a little bit bigger I'm gonna route it through lift it up yeah actually I need to put it through this hole in the back. And that one needs to be a little bit bigger as well.
There we go. Let's see if we can find it here. Okay. All right, now that you got that on, this actually just uh, kicks in from the front and you can lay it down, shove that wire through, make sure that wire's all the way in the back. And you see what I mean about um, wanting to drill it kind of low? Because if you were to drill up high, you're gonna have a visible hole in a wire showing. So definitely don't want that. Next is where our screwdriver is gonna come into play. I'm gonna peel this part off a little rubber mat we're going to take these four little bitty tiny screws that come with it we're going to screw those in to the top of our lid you're gonna to have to press down to get them started and do all four of them by hand Okay, so I got the four screws in. Um, do have to use quite a bit of downward force to get these started. They're, I didn't look at them, but I don't think they're self-tappers. So you kind of got to put some uh, some weight behind them to get them going. But those are all on. Once you have them on, you can put your um, rubber mat back on. There's like four little alignment spots there. Line all of those up. Get it nice and flush. And then the next thing we're going to do is... Uh, connect our wiring harness we're going to connect that underneath here and it's only got two wires if a red wire and a black wire um, you're going to want to make sure that you have your red side to red side and black side to black side because you can get them backwards so red to red black to black okay now i'm going to go ahead and uh, tighten this lid back up be careful not to over tighten these you don't want to bust your plastic They don't have to be tight at all. All right, so once we have our wire routing, I'm just gonna kind of move it over towards this side here, over towards the hinge side. Take my plastic cover, slide it right back down into position here, hopefully. Press my button in, kind of push that in, and then this should be kind of out of the way. Let's see if you guys can see that. The wire should kind of be down here out of the way, and then should just be able to um, pop everything back together. And then let's uh, finish up this wiring. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, move our wiring up. And they actually do come with a built-in fuse. Not sure if you can see that or not. But I think that's pretty cool. Um, so we'll just route it under this bar here. Um, I do know we're going to go ahead and plug this one right in to the uh, Boost Auto Parts. That's going to connect in like that. We're going to kind of keep some of this wiring up here. And we're going to drop our um console lid uh obviously prongs facing forward we're going to drop that right in here Oops. like so and uh, we're going to finish hooking up these wires put these two screws in not super tight so you don't want to blow through your plastic all right next we're just going to finish hooking up uh, all of our wiring here keep in mind is this kind of tight to get in here So I've got one, 
two, three, and then I'm gonna tuck this down out of the way. All right, that should be our wiring done. The only other thing to do is uh, put our console piece back on. Two screws, the two Phillips screws. So the only thing you have to do is turn your key in the accessory on position. Um, I have an iPhone 12, so any smartphone will normally work. And bam, she's charging. You see right there, it's charging up. And my doorbell just detected a visitor. This was my doorbell visitor. Right? Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. Let's take one more look. Looks factory to me. Great job to the team over there at Boost Auto Parts. Really cool product. All right, everybody. So that was the Boost Auto Parts uh, wireless charger install. Um, skill level of three required to put that thing in super easy uh, everything fit like a glove all the wiring snapped right together just like it should um that kit's about 130 bucks um i think i had a coupon code or it was on sale i got it for around 100 dollars. so that is for the this is a 2019 uh duramax um they will fit 2015s to 2019s uh 25 and 3500 so really simple to do um i appreciate everybody watching until next time thank you and take care and as always, uh, enjoy that 4th of July, okay? Really get out there, drink, be merry, be with your family, do whatever you want to do, barbecue with as many people as you want, um, and just have a great time. So I appreciate everybody for tuning in, and uh, catch you on the next one. Not in my garage. Hasta la vista, baby. And uh, actually, they give you a whole lot of wiring, so to kind of keep the majority of it, you know, up here towards the front part. I don't like that. This was my doorbell visitor. Let's take one more look. fuzzy still looks 